Um, good evening, everyone. Today is Sunday, September 19, 2021. Vlog number 1631. <laughs> Let me see, wait. Suffer. I think it's Suffer Day 11. Currently, I'm just setting up playing the vlog from yesterday. So by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog, share you up. Please be sure you go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. God, I totally failed my first AMP2 test um, ever since five years. Um, I just took it. It was like 50 questions. Um, I got a 54. <laughs> okay. I'm stupid. Like, I'm a moron. <laughs> like... I'm like retarded. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, but at least, okay, here's the thing with like, I feel like any college courses to be perfectly frank with you, like a hot dog frank with you, <laughs> like, okay, when you enter in to any classroom, you have no idea like what's gonna happen. You have no idea how to predict anything, okay? They literally have to teach you how to predict shit, right? I mean, especially if you're like me, like I'm definitely like on the track for health sciences, right? So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, right? So you're completely blindsided by the whole th damn thing and not only that, but you're barely making it. <laughs> and then, like, you know. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, like, you know, it's, it's, that's just, like, how life be, like, all the time. Um, but the thing is, you have to be able to, um, I don't really know how to explain, but you have to be able to um, kind of fight in a sense. You have to be able to weigh your options in a way. Um, and that's really what you have to do. Um, so like you'll, you'll go into a class and they don't know who the hell you are. It's college. It's not high school. They don't, like, they don't really give a shit, right? And I find that some, like, the people that are teaching me here in Houston versus South Carolina, they only give a shit about their own jobs, right? So, um, they're very much concerned about their own job, and sticking around basically and basically trying to outlive your ass so you know it is what it is you have to be able to counter that basically like you have to balance it out you have to you know go ahead and counter it and be like you know present yourself be like this is what the thing is that i am um and this is where i need to be at right and um and this is how i'm gonna get there right so it's just it's all a matter of how well you know you um like i don't know how well you know I don't know basically do you okay so for me usually what happens is I take the first exam and say that the teacher is like really really cool okay the first exam I make like an A alright um, but with this class the teacher is really really cool um, but the material, um, let's see, the study material um, is endless, which means that there is just um, a lot, possibly like an infinite amount of um, information 
that you have to learn for the first exam in order to make an A. So this could be very, very difficult, okay? My circumstances are that my family just moved, just came, moved into town. Um, so I'm going and seeing them a lot. Not only that, but, um, you know, I mean, that, that made, that took up a lot of my study time. So, um, you know, it's not necessarily that I'm a moron or that I'm stupid. It's just that, you know, it's my life. It's my circumstances. You know, that kind of shit happens. So you have to prepare yourself for shit that could happen to you outside of that um, environment. Um, your car breaks down, you know, you have some, anything happen, like you have some kind of like major, um, you know, catastrophe happen. It all gets, it all just sort of gets, um, added into the equation. Okay. But remember that you're not stupid. I'm not stupid. And remember that, um, you're capable of, of doing really, really great things. So you're allowed to fuck up. That's the whole point. I, I mean, that's my whole preaching thing is that you're allowed to fuck up and you're going to probably, you know, fuck up. This is probably my only time that I've really, really like fucked up and like meant to. <laughs> Um, so don't like, you know, but I'm, I'm really, really far into the game. So I'm kind of a veteran at this stuff. Um, so I don't know if it's excusable and excusable. <laughs> I, I don't care at this point. I'm basically just fighting. Like I'm just, you know, um, I'm going to learn, you know, what is the testing technique like for example i didn't know how many t questions were going to be on the test there were going to be 50 qu there were 50 questions on the test i didn't know if there were going to be more like 80 questions but his the thing is with his tests they they are such a wide range um and not only that and it's it's t entirely my fault because i didn't like i didn't study when I needed to be studying, when I typically would be studying. I was at my aunt's house, um, which I have to be at my aunt's house. So, um, you know, so anyways, um, I didn't do very well um, on the first test, but you know, it's like, well, you know, in the future, I definitely do need to spend more time on my studying um, in order to pass the class. So there's really no other way around it. Um, for this first exam, like I did skip out quite a bit, like on purpose. Like I, I had to go see my family and stuff. Um, but like for other future tests, like, you know, I know kind of like what to do as far as like studying versus not studying um in order to pass the class and he said in one of the classes well if you don't do well on the first test that's fine so i don't know really what he's planning to do i don't know if he's going to be dropping the um like the, the lowest grade that you have i i I'm pretty sure that's what they end up doing or something like that. Um, so my teacher is really, really cool. Um, but, it, you know, it still sucks to make a low grade. Like, I'm just not, I'm not really used to it. Um, but it's something that I do have to get used to, I guess. Because, um, I mean, I'm not perfect, okay? Um... So, um, and so, yeah, I'm still kind of like, basically, I'm still growing up, you know, I'm still trying to get a hold of the ropes of real life shit. Um, 
you know, before, like in my younger years, I was like super, I, I had to discipline myself. So I was very, very much into independent study, I think at the age of 12, right? Or something like that, like middle school. So they really started teaching us that stuff. Um, I think in middle school. And, um, and I was super, super like disciplined with it, but now I've completely, you know, I'm slacking off. Um, but I don't really care. <laughs> um, you know, so, um, yeah. So anyway, that was that. And then today. Um, I didn't have any breakfast. I just went over to my aunt's house and I had like some lunch. Um, she made cauliflower with potatoes um, and some bread. I ate two round breads and I told my mom. So like I, I had lunch there for like maybe like an hour. I was there until six and then I came home and whilst i was there i was reading through my textbook for like an hour and a half um you know waiting for food to get ready and then um then i ate then i came home and um you know i studied until because the test was only like an hour and a half let's say um so i studied until 10 o'clock I believe from six to ten so it's four hours it's not really a lot right it's it's okay it's definitely not a lot because um, with like a p two or any of these like um, sort of like health science classes and stuff um, that are um, any like college level classes I mean you um, you really do have to go that infinite like level um you do have to continuously study um and stuff and um to be able to match with your peers basically is how the breakdown is um and be like equal to your peers so you know and i'm perfectly aware of that that i wasn't like being equal to my peers um so that's the result um but anyways um i don't know if he's gonna drop the lowest grade or if i'm gonna have a lower grade again in the future <laughs> on an exam you can never ever tell you cannot tell the future you cannot predict the future um so with that in mind you know um i'm just gonna continue to be myself and um like you know just and i myself am an overachiever and i am really an excellent learner and everything like that so there's nothing wrong with me um and yeah anyways so um finally got done with that i don't know i took maybe like an hour or something not very long to finish the test um because like i prepared to take the test given time in mind so i prepared for the test taking portion of it i did not want to sit there and stare at a question for too long um you can't really look at a question for longer than like a minute or a minute and a half or something like that um you have to just move on to the next question you know it or you don't know it at that point like on the test you can't really think about it so that's what i mainly was focusing on as far as like preparing preparation was the test taking part of it i'm still trying to get better at that trying to get faster at that and this is really, really key. Like if you're watching this video and you're like trying to learn and you're like trying to get better um, at something, then um, this is like one of the things, but obviously you've 
not known me like my whole entire life so I mean you know there's a lot of things that it takes for you to get from um, you know from like where I began to where I am you know so I don't know it's just whatever so um, you know test taking is very very important it's something that I've never focused on before um, and um, like you know I've mostly and normally like any like person that is like trying to get into like a highly like like a good college or something like that will tell you well these are some of the things like here's like 20 things that you should be able to do like you know um rapidly and you know be able to get to where you want to be at and you know they just flat out tell you what it is so and you have to work and you have to practice in order to get to those and meet those goals right think of it as like who wants to be a millionaire you bring you start at like a hundred dollars and then you go to a million dollars but the questions get harder and harder as you go up in money and the amounts and like you know if you're if I was so I've been at 500 before and now I'm like at a thousand so yeah that's how I I honestly would break it down like I never did all of those like 20 things that people just flat out told you like this is what you these are the steps these are the 500 to a million dollar like stair steps that you have to do and meet in order to um, you know get more money in a sense or or achieve excellence so I always used to just um, study really hard like I used to um, break my back like physically I was just like trying to prepare myself for it right um, so now it's more of mental capacity and increasing mental capacity um, at this point so anyways it's just my take on it it's how I do it and you know you're, either way I don't think that there's anybody that's just like absolutely unsuccessful I, I believe that everyone is successful at whatever that they do um, so and if they are unsuccessful I mean you know life can get the better of you you know what I mean like the um, I don't know how to explain it but you know if you get sick or something life can definitely um, take over after that and it's you're not in control at that point anymore um, absolutely so you know that's just one of the factors that um, you know you have to be aware of and um, you have to be able to deal with it and you have to be able to fight it um, if you don't fight it you will not survive <laughs> um, again going back to my whole mantra so anyways then I get done with my test I get my grade back and everything and then I call my back my mom right because she's obviously one of the more important people that's in my life and I was like because I'm really really happy for her to be in my life um and I was like I was like so I didn't really do that well and she was like well you paid money for it and da da da, da. and I was like yeah I don't care <laughs> no I was like I do care um and stuff and like you know I just didn't do that well this time um, you know, my aunt's in town, I had to go visit her, um, it's just, it's been, it's been difficult. So she was like, she was just kind of like encouraging me to like, you know, do better and like do well, um, and do my best, you know, to, um, 
you know, make sure that, and I was like, I'm sure I'll pay, pass the class, you know, and it just all, and going back, it'll just all depend on my professor, um, and, and how he, you know, does what he has to do. Um, so, that's that. Um, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, some of the ones that I don't do well on, it's probably because they're just like a compliment, compilation of the harder chapters, but I don't think that's actually true. Um, because for any and all of these college classes, you're going to end up spending the same amount of time studying anyways, and that's really all that matters is the time portion of it. Um, you do have to have, um, like, the perf like the the right amount of time to spend on studying for the courses, um, and that's for any and all college courses. So, yeah. Um. So that's that. Um. And, you know, now I know exactly, you know, what I need to be doing, at least before, like before I was completely blind and I was going to see my aunt more than I should have been studying. Now I'm not blind anymore. I'm still probably going to be seeing my aunt, but at least now, um, you know, I have a bigger understanding, but it's the whole thing about it is that you're never really going to get a full on understanding of your professor. I mean, the whole point of going to college is like learning about people and learning about different people and their expectations of you and stuff. You know, it's, it, it's, a, it's way greater in college compared to your younger years and like in high school. That's like the cutoff. So, um, any hoodens, that was my, my Sunday. I told my mom and she was like, whatever. Um, and, um, then, um, what else? So tomorrow, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to have a test tomorrow. I'm gonna go do it um, for nutrition. I'm like super excited because these other four classes, like I was telling my aunt, these other four classes I've previously taken in the past. Um, nutrition is my newest class, and I'm I'm like super super anxious and excited mostly to get into that class and like um learn new stuff like this stuff i already kind of learned so i just don't care about it um you know you stop giving a shit after a while honestly um but the nutrition is brand new so i'm like super excited about it um because it's like it's like a repeater you know like course like Four of them are repeaters, so like, it's just like a waste of time and money, I feel like, because you already know everything, but it's just like, you know, not at the same time, because then you can pursue other things and <laughs> go and become an LVN. Um, and make more money. And Teddy Bear, such a good man. So fun stuff for sure. Anyways, I'm going to close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog.